am here in Manchester city centre exploring some of the best places to eat part two. We're starting off at American Pies which specialise in deep dish Chicago style pizzas. It's described as the ultimate treat day pizza destination. It's also a sister restaurant to Brewski in Cholton which I'll also be showing you in this video but it's going to be indulgent, it's going to be cheesy and I'm pretty sure it's going to be delicious so let's go and find out. So as you can see the restaurant is quite a small place with a casual chilled vibe it almost reminds me of an American diner mixed with elements of a bar and I love their neon signs. The menu has a range of indulgent starters and sides, a lot of which are deep fried like lasagna bites, dauphinoise bites as well as tater tots and more. I'm literally drooling thinking about it. Then they have their specialist Chicago pizza pies coming as either 7 inch for one person or a 10 inch to be shared by two and they bake them to order so the large ones can take up to 40 minutes to fully cook but definitely worth the wait and they have also introduced their Doritos which is like pizza dough wrapped around like a burrito full of unbelievable fillings and topped with melted cheese oh my goodness look at this this is the classic deep dish pizza I'm just gonna quickly try it before we dig in we've also got the spicy sausage over there as well are we ready oh my god mm. that tomato sauce is so nice and the cheese is heavenly and then we've also got tater tots here so we're gonna try these this is jalapeno and mozzarella oh my goodness Oh my God. <laughs> this is heaven. Look at this crust. Let's dig in. Okay, so today is another food day. And in the previous clip at American Pies, I mentioned that they are owned by Brewski. And tonight I am going to Brewski in Cholton, which is in Greater Manchester, not in the city centre. I know I say this about like most places that I go and visit, but genuinely, this place has been on my list for ages. It's always booked out. The food looks incredible. It's American comfort food. So obviously American pies are specializing in the um, deep dish pizzas. This time it's big burritos, burgers, poutine, so many things and I cannot wait. So I'm going tonight with some foodie friends. So this is why I'm kind of filming right now, just because I don't know how much I'll be able to film of me actually trying it, but of course I will show you all of the food and later on we'll report back of how it all tasted and the whole vibe. Come along with me to Brewski as I completely devour their food and also their desserts because they also look incredible. Let's go. So as it's owned by the same company, Brewski also has a nice casual setting with great neon signs again. As the sign says, make it a mate date, which it is a perfect place for going with a group of friends because they have amazing sharing platters and such generous portions. The menu has a range of starters and then burritos, burgers, poutines, dirty fries, and I really didn't know what to pick. So I shared a Brewski burrito, which I'll put the description on the screen now but you name it the burrito had it in it it was bursting with flavor and the quesadilla had three layers with cheese in between i mean are we for real then we also had the salt and pepper poutine so if you're unsure of what poutine is it's basically chips and gravy with cheese curds plus your selected toppings the rest of the table got a selection of other poutine and burrito dishes plus garlic parmesan fries and nothing went to waste everyone loved it then what i'd been waiting for the dessert brewski changed the dessert menu around every six weeks but as you can see the options were to die for we went for Biscoff brownie pie, a milky bar mousse pie, so delicious and sweet, but I definitely say prepare and make sure that you save some room. Okay, so for this next place, I wasn't able to film my reactions whilst 
being there so i just thought i would do a little bit of commentary throughout whilst i show you what it was all like this next place sugo pasta kitchen i went to the one in ancoats but they also have another restaurant in altrincham as well as sale sugo is a independent southern italian style restaurant serving absolutely unbelievable pasta dishes in quite an informal, like low lighting, really nice setting. What I absolutely love about this place, and it's always a good sign for me, is when a restaurant has quite a small menu with not many options, because to me, it shows that they must specialize in those dishes they really master all the flavors all the concoctions they have their menu and then as you can see they also have the specials board as well which will obviously vary day by day so in terms of the food i got the classic house sugo because why would i not i'd seen it all over their instagram ever since they opened and i had to try it and oh my goodness it was just so rich it almost had like a slight kick to it of spice um, the portion was so big and then we also shared some bruschetta as well which was so flavoursome so honestly such a perfect meal like if you like spag ball and like beef ragu kind of vibe then it's definitely in that category but it has its own twist to it with that like kick to it which I loved and forgive me if I'm saying these words wrong but my friend got the pacheri with Umbrian lentils and roasted peppers but I've just had a look at the menu and I think they may not have that on the menu anymore and they've kind of switched up a little bit but even still everything that is on their menu sounds unbelievable. It's all cooked fresh to perfection, you know it wasn't just really quick like you could tell that it was literally like piping hot like that had just been made just for you which I loved. Of course we had to get dessert. I got the canolo siciliano because I'm now obsessed with canolo or cannolis and um, so that was filled with obviously the classic ricotta, it had amaretto, hazelnut, chocolate and candied peel. So that was just like so many unusual things for me, so many amazing textures. And then my friend got the tiramisu, which is obviously a classic Italian dessert, which she said was one of the best or if not the best tiramisu she's ever had. So. I couldn't speak more highly of Sugo, but I would definitely say that it is so, so popular. Like at peak times, it is booked up weeks in advance. So make sure that you get your spot by booking online. So that concludes part two of exploring some of the best places to eat in Manchester. I hope that you enjoyed it and it's inspired you to try some new places. And if you did enjoy it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then do subscribe to my channel because I've got so many more exciting videos to come and I don't want you to miss out. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.